WrestleMania, aka Blue Romania. Scared you with that one, didn't I? We're almost done, guys. Three more. We're almost there. It's just a couple days before Mania. Let's get it going. WrestleMania 29. Dead Gummit is coming home. April 7th, 2013. 80,676 people. MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Sorry. Yes. We're here. We're here. Let's get into it, Dead Gummit. There were nine matches on the card. Um, one was a dark match, and it was the singles match for the Intercontinental title between Miz and Wade Barrett. This was a pre-show match on the network. Well, not the network. It wasn't the network yet, but the old pre-show match or whatever. Um, and this is when Miz actually was getting cheered. He was actually a face. People actually wanted him to win something. I don't understand why. That's when he was the whole, they were trying to get Ric Flair to like get him over and people still didn't really care like that. But Miz won with the, with the figure four and won the IC title. Never understood why they pushed Miz ever, but whatever. It is what it is. Next up we had a great way to start the show off. We had Shield, which is Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns against Big Show, Randy Orton, and Sheamus. Now this is when the Shield was running fucking rampant. Killing, just destroying everybody in their path. And man, this match was so good. But you knew with Orton, Sheamus, and Big Show, you knew somebody <gasps> wasn't going to stick stick with it and somebody was going to mess up and all this and leave, betray the other team. Because the whole build of that was, oh, we can't trust Big Show. This, woo, 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 woo. You knew it was going to happen. So Shield ended up winning. Um, when I think I think it's when Big Show like left left the side of the team or whatever, and um, the Shield ended up winning, but it was a great great match. I, I'd give it three and a half stars easily. Uh, if it was a little if it was a little bit longer of a match, I would have bumped it to four maybe, but it was only ten minutes. But it was still a good match. Um, then you had a, a, a terrible match between Mark Henry and Ryback. Um, this match was bad. Mark Henry won. I think he won. Because Ryback tried to like pick him up and he, Mark Henry fell on him or something. I think that's how it worked. I can't remember. But yeah, not, not two and a half stars maybe. Not not that good. Then we had tag team match with the WWE tag titles. You had Team Hell No, which was Kane and Daniel Bryan versus Ziggler and Biggie Langston. Um, of course, Team Hell No was the champs and they stayed the champs. This was a good match. I mean, it, it, it what again, it was a match that they didn't give him much time. It's like six, seven minutes is all they got. But um, it's just crazy to me to see Daniel Bryan, the last, on this Mania in 29, where he stood versus where he will be a year later. But that's beside the point. Uh, pretty good, okay match. Wish it would have been a longer match. They kept the titles. Team Hell No kept the titles. That was that. Then we had Fandango and Chris Jericho in a singles match. Again, this is when Jericho came back. And Fandango was new to the WWE and got the win over Chris Jericho in his first match. First, you know, first WrestleMania, huge upset. It wasn't a bad match. I mean, it really wasn't, you know. And, I mean, it is what it is. I'd give it three stars, I guess. Um, keep in mind, this is not a great Mania either to me. But, moving along. He had Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger for the WWE World Heavyweight title. Del Rio was the champ going in. I, I'm just not a fan of Del Rio, really. I like Swagger at times, but um, them two in a match together, I'm just not feeling it, really. Del Rio won by submission, but just wasn't feeling it. Next up, we had a great match. Not a five-star. I'd give it a four. It's definitely four, four and a half, uh, four-star. Uh, CM Punk Undertaker, a match for the streak. The bill for this was crazy because CM Punk was doing all that disrespectful Paul Bear stuff. This is right after Paul Bear passed away. He was doing all that stuff. Just super disrespectful. But um, it made for a good match. I'd, I'd give it four and a half stars, actually. We'll bump it up to four and a half. You know, they did the whole CM Punk thing where he jumped off the the turnbuckle and did a terrible looking elbow drop onto the, on the Undertaker who was laying on the table. Um, 
Then there's that match at the end where they Undertaker picked him up and tombstoned him, kind of on a, in a botchy way, because he hit him with the GTS, but he didn't hit him with it. It was kind of weird, way, like a weird ending. But it was a good match. I, I'd give it a really good match. Four and a half stars. Undertaker kept the, kept the streak alive with it. One of the best matches on the card. Next up, we had no holds barred match. Triple H lost. He'd be forced to retire. Um, Triple H versus Brock Lesnar. Um, another good match. Really solid match. I give it four stars. Um, Triple H, of course, won. He wasn't going to retire. We all knew that. But they had a good match. Him and Lesnar had a good match between this match and the match they had the, the, the month after and at Extreme Rules, which I thought that match was better. Their match at SummerSlam in 2012. Um, they had a good feud. They really did. Uh, of course, Triple H got the win. I think this is when he, in any pedigree, Lesnar on the steps, maybe. can't remember. But it was a it was a good solid match though. Triple H, you know, of course, got the win. And then last but not least, we had the Cena and Rock rematch. This time for the WWE title. So it was not once in a lifetime; it was twice in a lifetime, obviously. But again, I gotta say, man, Cena and Rock, they sell them tickets. They 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 build and they have good matches, man. They really do. And this was another good one. This wasn't as good as Mania twenty eight, but it was still very good. But you knew going in. With, it, with Rock winning last year, you knew Cena was going to win it. Rock was the champion. Of course, he won the title at Royal Rumble from Punk, ending that streak. And then he fought Punk again at Elimination Chamber. And then, you know, you knew Cena was going to take the belt from him. You knew he wasn't going to lose. Cena wasn't going to lose two years in a row. But nevertheless, it was still a great match. And uh, I'll give it four and a half stars. Why not? Um... Uh, so four and a half star match for that, four and a half match star match with Punk and Undertaker. But other than that, man, it just wasn't. Well, Triple H and Lesnar, I give that three and a half stars. So I'll give this Mania three and a half stars. Mainly, I mean, the rest of the card though was just not that good. You know, the Shield match was good. It was three and a half, I'd say. But Mark Henry and Ryback was bad. Team Hell No tag match was okay. Fandango Chris Jericho match was was good. Well, fuck it. I guess, well, I guess we'll give it four stars. I guess we have to kind of give it four stars. Four out of five. This match, this Mania wasn't my favorite, but going back and looking at it on paper and then remembering the you know the Mania, because I didn't watch this Mania. I'm going off of what I, I watched this Mania about a year ago, so I didn't have time to watch this Mania all the way over again. I just watched bits and pieces. But we'll go ahead and be generous. We'll give it four out of five, okay? Four out of five, baby. WrestleMania 29. Next up is one of my favorite WrestleManias of all time. WrestleMania 30. Here we go, baby. Woo!